Oh my goodness. Thank everyone for being here. My goodness gracious. came out to see the old guy. That's right. Yes. Well, I guess it's too late to turn back. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I might as well get started. Uh, this song, first song, kind of uh, fits the occasion. I've always been a dreamer. And I hope I never change I've never climbed a mountain Or rode the open range I've been beaten up and beaten down And looked upon as strange But I've always been a dreamer And I hope I never change So all those times I fell in love And watched them walk away a broken heart will never heal The hurt is there to stay With the memories and thoughts and dreams Are always left behind They linger there like butterflies Of happiness denied The days and nights and years go by They whisper in the wind The stories, lives, and passers-by been a dreamer, and I hope I never change. Oh, I've never climbed a mountain or road the open range. I've been beaten up and beaten down and looked upon as strange. But I've always been a dreamer, and I hope I never change. Days and nights and years go by, they whisper in the wind, the stories, lives, and passers-by, and all that could have been. Oh, I've always been a dreamer, and I hope I never change. I've never climbed a mountain or rode the open range, or I've been beaten up and beaten down. Size bed laid on a flat bed, old bike trailer, and put walls around to keep his feet and tail out of the spokes. <laughs> and we climbed that access road to the summit every morning. And uh, eventually, he could hardly move at all, but the dog rode in that cart, never lost a shred of dignity. <laughs> and after he could stop, he stopped moving. We had to change our motto. We had to change it from laugh, dream, and keep moving to laugh, dream, and one more time. <laughs> which was a reference to getting up that hill. Yeah. One more time. Hill, the access road, which we called the Cosmic Highway. <laughs> <laughs> the old dog. What a magnificent dog. Okay, well, this song...
had its start in 1978. At the time, a little of the guitar came through, and one verse, and that's as far as it went. Everything I tried to do, it was terrible. And I played it a lot, like the first verse, it faded, and I remembered it again in 2012. And revisited it, and the last three verses just flowed right out. Like it was waiting for me. Where do you think it took you so long? Not, not Ready for Dying is the title. There was a time when I was young When I thought that I was finding my way Now time has passed, or days are gone What seemed so right was oh so wrong Living can take a long, long time I still look for the sunshine When the moon all makes me warm inside and I don't think I'm ready for dying Oh, but then who knows just when that time will come Faces and places will warn our traces Visions of life gone by Dances and glances, crazy misguided romances Living can take a long time I still look for the sunshine And the moon glow makes me warm inside and I don't think I'm ready for dying But then who knows just when that time will come Oh, then who knows just when that time will come Children calling out your name Mother screaming at the rain Moments and times that just won't go away Father's pounding on the door, baby crying out no more. Living can take a long, long time. Oh, I still look for the sunshine, and the moon glow makes me warm inside. And I don't think I'm ready for dying. But then who knows just when that time will come? Oh, then who knows just when that time will come? Oh, then who knows just when that time will come? Some folks, how could this be? These things take time, they said to me. One man said, it's all blowing in the wind. Don't think out loud, watch what you pray. You too might say someday that living can take a long, long time. Oh, I still look for the sunshine. And the moon glow makes me warm inside. And I don't think I'm ready for dying. But then who knows just when that time will come. Oh, then who knows just when that time will come? Oh, then who knows just when that time will come? Not ready for dying. So we'll try to avoid doing that. Uh, 
But what is our not to say? Yes, we do. I like to think that this love song is a bit different. Uh, the title is Maybe Today, a pre-adolescent love song. <laughs> Maybe today the sun won't rise, the moon won't show, and the stars won't shine. It all could happen, maybe today. Maybe today the bells won't ring, the birds won't sing, and the bees won't sting. It all could happen, maybe today. Maybe tonight the clouds will clear and the sky will turn to gold. Maybe tonight you'll take my hand and our love will never grow cold. Maybe today the sun won't rise, the moon won't show, and the stars won't shine. It all could happen, maybe today. Maybe tonight you stay with me and hold me by your side. Maybe tonight your eyes will tell me there's nothing left to hide. Maybe today the old won't die, baby won't cry, and the truth won't lie. It all could happen, maybe today. Maybe tonight a dream will come and take us far away. Maybe tonight our hearts will be a place where angels play. Maybe today the wind will see I'll be you and you'll be me. It all could happen. Maybe today. For the cheap seats in the back. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. As long as I don't hit my head on the microphone. I'm sorry. Yep, pre adolescence. Last outpost of innocence. <laughs> Once that passes, everything changes. Everything changes. Uh, Physically, emotionally, socially, introspectively, extrospectively, it's all different. You know, let, let the growing up begin. Monumental struggle <laughs> to get out of it and move on. Uh, some of us, yours truly included, never quite make it. <laughs> never quite make it to grown up. And sometimes I feel like I'm better off. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, maybe today a love song. Uh, this song is a riddle. Uh, I know there's other adult riddles out there, but this song is a riddle. The title of the riddle is, I Was There, A Cosmic Riddle. The lyrics I didn't include to the cosmic riddle. The cosmic riddle of this song is the narrator. I was there before the waters. I was there before the signs. I was there before the morning dew. I was there before the times. I made my way throughout the heavens, passing by the cold sublimes, oh, I could feel the forces moving, oh, as I left them all behind, I was there before the waters, I was there before the signs, oh, 
was there before the morning too. Oh, I was there before the time. All ahead, the dark is looming without a sound, without a rhyme. Without a soul to touch and comfort me On my own the race is mine I was there before the waters I was there before the signs I was there before the morning dew I was there before the times Space and time, I look back upon the stardust as I make that final climb. I was there before the waters, I was there before the signs, I was there before the morning. astrophysical theories, the Big Bang, Big Bang says there was nothing, 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 and suddenly there was everything, everything, and according to the late pilot the cosmic dog's theory of expansion, <laughs> at the moment of everything, at the moment of the Big Bang, something was first out, something was first out, fastest thing in the universe, 186,000 miles per second. Fastest thing in the universe. First out, the narrator. And the narrator is the first photon. Photon is a single particle of light. And in a vacuum, 186,000 miles per second, the distance that it traps gets to Mars in three minutes. All aboard, we're there. <laughs> and uh, supposedly the universe, according to the astrophysicists, is 14 billion years old. And in one year, a single photon in the vacuum of space travels six trillion miles. Six trillion miles. So to get how far that first photon has traveled, in 14 billion years, it comes out to 8 and 22 zeros. They say 8 sextillion miles, and it's still going. And the tremendous irony is that no one will ever see the first photon. It's unidirectional, and in order to see it, you have to be in front of it. <laughs> and nothing physical is getting in front of that first photon. And it's still out there, and it's headed toward that final climb. And, you know, no one will ever see it. Okay, enough of that cosmic esoteric. <laughs> This song is a kind of parody. I do it with uh, apologies to Mr. Smokey Robinson, who wrote the original tune, and to the Temptations, who performed it so well, and to the Funk Brothers, the practically unknown Funk Brothers, who were the studio musicians at, Fort, uh, at Motown, Fortown, at Motown back in the day. <laughs> I've got sunshine on a 
cloudy day Oh, and when it's cold outside I've got the month of May Well, I guess you who say What can make me feel this way Is my dog <laughs> Talking about my dog Talking about my dog Happy to see me when I come home My dog is right well, I don't need no money Fortune or fame Oh, cause I got all the riches, baby One man can claim Well, I guess You who say What can make me feel this way It's my dog Talking about my dog Talking about my dog Happy to see when I come home My dog that's right Loyal and true Friend for life too Oh I got so Cause I got all the riches, baby, one man can't claim How oh, will I guess you who say What can make me feel this way is my dog Talking about my dog Talking about my dog Happy to see me when I come home I don't just say loyal and true Friend for life too, loyal and true. Friend for life too. My dog, my dog. dog and for all dogs bless their hearts even the goofy ones <laughs> love them to pieces and according to the late pilot the cosmic dog's theory of canine behavior <laughs> you think i'm kidding <laughs> there is no shortage of goofy dogs and it can all be directly and irrefutably attributed to the people they hang around with. <laughs> That's pilot theory, and he's sticking to it. <laughs> Will not tolerate or accommodate dissent or disagreement. Looks right out in the space like you're not even there. <laughs> My dog, pilot the cosmic. Late pilot the cosmic. Yes, indeed. Oh, pilot. What a magnificent Still here, he's hiding behind the bookcase. <laughs> well, we'll take a little break from my own nonsense. This tune is uh, called Everybody's Talking by Mr. Fred Neal. Everybody's talking at me. I can't hear a word they're saying, only the echoes of my mind. People stopping and staring I can't see their faces Only the shadows of their eyes I'm going where the sun keeps shining Through the pouring rain Going where the weather suits my clothes Banking over the northeast wind Sailing on the summer breeze Skipping over the ocean like a stone
too soft and pretty for the movie. They should have just let Fred Neal do it. Yeah, it would have fit in very well. It's everybody's talking, this is Fred Neal. He hung out in San Francisco and connect close connections with the Jefferson Airplane. They uh, wrote a song. Uh, Grace Lick said that Fred Neal reminded her of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and they wrote a song with the word Pooh Neal in it, which was a reference to Fred Neal. Uh, he had record track contract, they wanted to sign the record contracts, but he refused to tour, and that was the end of that, and he spent the last 30 years of his life rescuing dolphins in Florida. Mr. Fred Neal, everybody's talking. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, where do we go from here, my goodness? You know, there's a song that, uh, I really should not try, <laughs> but... I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, it's, it's a fun song. It's called Cold and Cool. A fun song. <laughs> we'll do what we can with it. The reason I don't want to do this is so much room for catastrophic failure. <laughs> that I'm kind of meek about it. Away and let it pass. We 
if she goes back, I'll tell her that. Because it was plain for her to see that she was cold and cruel to me. The whole thing just goes to pieces. Pick it up and move along. Yes, indeed. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I got that. Made it through that. I can hardly believe it. My glasses fogged up. <laughs> My goodness. Did I clean them off? Or I don't even see them or see your face. Yeah, you back there, Mr. O'Connor? <laughs> no, I think, I think I can do it. I think I can manage. Uh, just barely, but I think I can manage. Just barely manage. Okay, well, you know, uh, one of the things I'm really bad about is knowing what time it is. My goodness gracious. Well, we've got some time here. Okay. Cold and cruel. The old emotional one two knockout. <laughs> yes, indeed. And I always forgot to duck. Always forgot. You forget to duck, man. You gotta just pack it up and move along, and in the immortal words of Satchel Page, don't look back, they might be gaining on you. <laughs> I don't know if anybody under 40 knows who Satchel Page was. Yes, and he's quite a character. Many of kind of the Yogi Berra of his day. Yes, and Okay, well. We take songs to the top of my guitar. <laughs> so I'm going to take a peek. Okay. <laughs> Should have taken a few other things. <laughs> this song is by a couple of English guys. Somewhere in the Black Mountain Hills is Dakota, the young boy in Rocky Raccoon. One day a rock woman ran off with another guy. He said, young rock in the eye. Rocky didn't like that. Said, man, keep that boy. So he walked into town, booked himself a room in a local saloon. Rocky Raccoon, he went into his room. Only to find Gideon's Bible. Rocky had come, he quit with a gun. To shoot out the leg of his rival. Rival the shoe that broke up a rocker's dream by stealing the girl of his fancy. Well, her name was McGill, and she called her. 
Chris O'Neill Learn everybody know the girl is Nancy Well she and her man Who called himself Dan Was in the next room at the hoedown On a rocky first day Grinning and grinning said Danny boy This is a showdown Oh but Danny was hot He drew first and showed <coughs> And rocky collapsed in the corner came in, stinking a gin, and proceeded to lie on the table. He said, Rocky, you met your match. Rocky said, Doc, some scratch. Well, I'll be better, Doc, but as soon as I am able. Rocky looked cool. He fell back in his room, only to find Gideon's Bible. Gideon checked out where he left in no doubt to help with good Rocky's revival. Until the time he was five years old, and by the time he was seven, 
That was it. That was all the sight that he got. His vision was completely lost. But what a musician, my goodness. The talent he recorded it. Terrific. I don't know if uh, young folks know Ray Charles, but everybody should know Ray Charles. My goodness, Mr. Ray Charles. Mr. Don Gibson. All those to me, and I guess I'm you, which I don't dare do. I will not dare to do. I guess I'm you. Took my troubles down to Madaroos. You know that gypsy with the gold plastics. She's got a place down on 34th and Vine. Sells those little bottles of love potion number nine. I told her that I was a flop with chicks. Oh, I've been this way since 1956. She looked at my palm and gave a magic sign. She said, What you need is love potion. so very grateful that you're here to be part of this. For me, it's a, I'm 74 years old. I think I'm qualified to speak as a once in a lifetime event. And I, I'm just, you know, I don't know the words to say. I'm not real good at this. I hope you all can feel what is in my heart towards each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I do want to say a couple other things. I want to thank Mr. Ted O'Connell. He was the impresario of this entire event. And uh, yes, and I can remember. We left the summit one day, him and Doug Kip, and probably was long gone, of course. Yeah. And we got down to the bottom. We're talking about this, that, and the other thing. And then he casually said, oh, I got another booking at the Bird and Beckett. And I had been here before to see them play a couple of years ago, something like that. And I liked it. It was really good. They were really good. There. And I said, oh, that's good. And he says, uh, how about you on the, being on the bill with us? <laughs> and I said, uh-oh. And... I said, okay, okay, I, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that. And he said, oh, good. And he and Kip walked away, and I walked in my car, and I said to myself, what the hell did you just do? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? But it all seems to have worked out pretty good. And yes, Bob Spector, who played guitar, Bob, Bob Spector played guitar, and, you know, he did something wonderful on the website for the Daily Picture Project, where, I, you know, we took the picture of the iconic Golden Gate Bridge every day for a year, and what he did was he took all the pictures, and he did a fade in day one, fade away, day two, fade away, and he did this for all of them, it's about a ten minute video, and there's music to accompany it, and it's songs that I did maybe two, three years ago. It's to the music, and it takes about ten minutes, and you see every one of them. It just did a wonderful job, so I'm very grateful to Bob Spector for having the time and effort to do that. And thanks to Bob Spector, and is Bob Spector still here? Is he still here? Did he leave? Okay, well, maybe. What's that? Buena Vista 365 for 365days.com. Buena Vista 365.com. And you can check it out. It's not a spectacular achievement or anything like that, but it's fun. I made a calendar out of it, and every day of the calendar is the picture for that day. And it's a fun site, and Bob Speck did a wonderful thing. And I would also like to thank the Bird and Beckett. I'd like to thank Eric. This, the first and best 
Beckett. Mm. Mm. Very, thank you very much. They deserve it. The Vernon Beckett is a community jewel. It really is. They provide a place for, for musicians and poets and literary folks to come here and do what they do. Uh, Eric works tirelessly, relentlessly, and uh, they deserve the community support. There's a donations uh, can here and one by the desk, and I'm sure they would appreciate anything that you can do for them. They, they just do wonderful work here. And for Angie, Angie is the gal. Thanks to Angie. There she is back there. She, she takes care. She takes good care of all of the talent. There she is. She turns on the lights so you make sure <laughs> she knows you. And I will not reveal how Angie characterized. I met Angie a couple weeks ago when we came here. And <laughs> saw Maurice Tani, wonderful guitarist. You ever get to see Maurice Tani? Do yourself a favor and go see him. Very good. And Angie came over. I was introduced to her. Terrific gal. I will not reveal how she characterized Ted O'Connell's efforts to get me on the bill here. <laughs> that will remain between myself and Angie. Wonderful gal. Just <laughs> But yeah, they do a great job here. If you guys can, can support them, I know they would appreciate it. It deserves, it deserves the community support. Okay, this is going to be the last song. I'm sure you're all back to hear that. <laughs> Suffering through, through whatever I'm doing up here. It's been a kind of an out-of-body experience in reality. Um, yes, it has been. But What's that? Cosmic. Cos there it is. <laughs> See, Eleanor, was, she listened to that song. I knew she was. <laughs> and uh, the name of this tune is Another Time, Another Place. Another Time, Another Place. A lonely smile. A tender hand upon my face Another time, another place To be alone without a dream Without a heart on which to lean Without a soul to hear my plea Without a sign to set me free Nowhere to go, nowhere to stay No one to know, no song to play So keep me strong and keep me kind Grant me a light And I'll be so And watch you grow And you will find And you will know I'll keep you close Daddy? And keep your grace Another time Another place Another time
burning you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Dexter. One more thing with a shout out to Sarah Burgett, who is in Massachusetts recovering, trying to recover from an injury. She couldn't be here tonight. For Sarah Burgett also. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Be well, be safe. And prosper, by golly. Yes, indeed. And I bet Dexter will autograph those posters if you want. There's a Sharpie up there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Ted, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, O'Connell. You're the best. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna buy a poster. All right, that's the legend. I am, yes, I am. Hi, Jill. So nice to meet you. Thanks so much for coming. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yes. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, yeah. Well, blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Really, so great to see so many people. Oh, you are so lucky. Came all the way from Las Vegas to be here. Wow. That's right. Wow. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to stand in the way of the bucket.
Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for coming out and supporting me. Well, you know, he's such a great guy. 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 He's such a